Scott Adams, the man that's behind the popular comic strip Dilbert, which has been a hit for decades, satirizing work in an office, has been canceled. Mega canceled. Hundreds of papers across the country have dropped his comic and more likely will in the coming days because he, well, he saw a poll from the Rasmussen Polling Center and had some thoughts on it. And you're not allowed to have those kinds of thoughts or utter them aloud if you're a white person. So let's get into what he said and what the liberal media is claiming that he said. This poll from Rasmussen was a new poll and it asked black Americans if they agree, disagree, or if they're not sure with the following statements. The first one is, it's okay to be white, and only 53% of them agreed. Rasmussen is a big, popular, very credible polling agency, by the way. 26% disagree, <laughs> okay, and 21% are not sure. And they also asked in that same poll uh, if black people can be racist, too. And 76% of them surprisingly agreed. 27% of them disagreed. Black people can't be racist whatsoever. 8% not sure. So Scott Adams does a daily live stream. It's called a Coffee with Scott Adams. And in that live stream, he was reacting to this poll and said this. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, According to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the f*** away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. Right, this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where you know I have a very low black population, because unfortunately the you know there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when when he notes that the when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. Respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. I live in Harlem now. It's an historically black neighborhood. Every single day I see adults and children dropping their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just feet away. Just being honest here. Of course, only black people are allowed to say that they don't want to live around white people and they're so tired of dealing with them that they have black-only colleges or uh, historically black colleges and black-only dorms and black-only graduation ceremonies. And we everybody has seen the unbelievable rise in systemic and blatant anti-whiteism over the last several years since the Black Lives Matter uh, uprising in 2020. Um, and I'm also really sick of seeing video after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. Um, you know, I realize it's anecdotal and it you know, doesn't give me a, a full picture of what's happening. But every damn day, I look on social media and there's some black person beating the out of some white person. I'm kind of over it. I'm over it. Right? So I, I quit. Elon Musk is also noticing things. He replied to a tweet talking about the Scott Adams cancellation controversy, saying for a very long time, U.S. media was racist against non-white people. Now they're racist against whites and Asians. Something happened with elite colleges and high schools in America. Maybe they can try not being racist. 
it would take a full 24-hour news network just to cover the recent examples of systemic anti-whiteism like this Rutgers University professor, Brittany Cooper. I think that white people are committed to being villains in the aggregate, right? The real sort of issue here, and I, you know, I've heard people sort of say it, is one, I think that white people viscerally fear. It's not that white people don't know, right, what they have done. They know. You mean we freed the slaves and hundreds of thousands of white people died freeing the slaves in the Civil War only to just constantly be slandered as racists 150 years later? Scott Adams has now become a meme for noticing certain things that a lot of people have noticed but have been afraid to point out because just pointing out certain facts and obvious irrefutable statistics about certain groups of people and Crime will get you labeled a racist. But Scott Adams has F you money. He's got so much money that he doesn't care if he gets canceled. He talked about this in an interview five years ago. He's worth tens of millions of dollars. And so it appears that he just decided to basically go into retirement with a bang. I discovered that the price of free speech is really high. And there are only a few people willing to pay it. So I decided to pay it so that I could extend the conversation to something that everybody needs to hear. And by the way, did you notice anything interesting about that Rasmussen poll, particularly about the question about whether or not black people can be racist too? <laughs> well, it's certainly not a coincidence that just a few weeks ago, I showed this flyer in one of my videos and I just wondered why it hasn't popped up on college campuses across the country, and I posted it on my social media accounts, and I'm not going to reveal my source on this, but let's just say that it is not a coincidence that the Rasmussen poll included that question <laughs> in their poll. And just to be clear, I wouldn't advise anybody to start putting these posters up on college campuses or anywhere because it'll be a national scandal. They'll bring out the surveillance tapes and they'll comb through them for days trying to identify whoever it is that did this. But it's just a little thought experiment that I was having. And if you're a BIPOC, a black indigenous person of color who wants to stand up against this rising anti-whiteism in America, then order my new I Love White People shirt from my online store at markdash.com or click the link in the description below. This is the, one of those shirts that you should wear at your own risk, no matter who you are, because literally wearing this in the wrong area or if you happen to cross the wrong kind of people who have impulse control problems, it could be very, very bad for you. Like all of my designs, it's available on a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.